Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. And today I'm playing Racing Simulation F1 2016. This is the latest version in the Venerable series. Game features a career mode, which I'll delve into in a little bit. In addition to doing a 10 season career, you can also do a championship season. Uh, you can do a quick race. You can do online multiplayer. The game supports up to 22 players in a full car field with all human drivers. Time trial on a single track. Uh, you can also do custom uh, seasons as well if you go into the uh, quick race things. Uh, but as I said, I'm going to focus on the career mode, which has a pretty good number of features. Uh, you can customize the rules for each of the races. I like how it loads in the background and lets you see all the menu items. Uh, in addition, there's a lot of uh, different race settings you can have and adjust the AI driver level. Uh, whether the safety car comes on or off, whether it has the formation lap, uh, whether it's manual or automatic race starts. In addition, you can customize all of the assists. Uh, I just kind of want to make it a little bit easier on myself, so I did turn anti-lock brakes on and kept traction control at a medium, and also like having the racing line on there too and have an automatic gear shift. So if you turn a lot of this stuff off, you'll get a higher career score uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, so, uh, when you start out, you can look around for no apparent reason, but most of what you do is you access through your laptop. In the career mode, uh, it offers rivalries. I actually just finished one against my teammate and I totally dominated him. Uh, so it kind of gives you another driver to focus on and it gives you points. Uh, when you do better than the other driver does. It also uh, keeps track of how you perform against your teammate uh, and basically shows whether you're exceeding expectations against them. Uh, as you'll see during practice you can try to achieve different objectives uh, and those points can be used uh, on research and development to basically buy parts that will upgrade your team uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have the driver standings, online leaderboards, and all that stuff. So, uh, I recently increased the uh, difficulty in this career because uh, medium was a little bit too easy. I won the last two races in it. Uh, so I bumped it up to hard, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we'll go into practice one here. here we are at the fascinating Sochi Autodrome in Russia. Mm. All right, so uh, in addition to... Uh, a couple features I said earlier with the formation lap, manual pit stars, there's also manual pitting. Uh, you do have the safety car. Features the new uh, street circuit in Azerbaijan and also has the Haas team who I chose to drive for because of America. Uh, so as I mentioned, you can earn research points uh, by doing these little practice programs. There's three to choose from. One of them is learning the track. Another one is trying to conserve your tires uh, in order to kind of get better data on them. And then you can also... Uh, try a qualifying lap. So I'm going to do all three of those. There's three practice sessions. So I'll do one per session. So we'll start with uh, learning the track right here. And I'll go out first. You can choose between a flying lap or simply driving out. So I'll pick a flying lap. Alright, here we go. And uh, in this mode, there's basically little gates uh, superimposed onto the track that you have to hit in order to uh, get a good rating on it, as you'll see as I try to, to do it. So it basically, you know, gives you the, you know, the line that you're supposed to follow. All right, there's my DRS spot. I'm getting off track a little bit. Purple is the best, and then it does green uh, if you don't uh, hit it exactly in the middle of the car. Now, there's no speed requirement for this. Like, there's no minimum amount of time you have to uh, get it under. Uh, so you can actually brake really early as you're learning the track and just basically hit everything and get a bunch of points, or at least maximize them out. So like I said, I turn anti-lock brakes on and traction control on medium. So the car is uh, fairly easy to drive, especially, crap, I just missed that. Uh, especially if you've played racing simulators before, you can turn everything off 
uh, and have a appropriately difficult to handle car. Uh, the racing physics are pretty good, uh, I have to say. Uh, the tires degrade fairly rapidly, which is true to life. And we got another DRS on right there. This is about where I spawned in. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hey, get out of my way. This track uh, is where they built all the stuff for the Winter Olympics. So that's kind of the reason for its existence. So you can see the Olympic Stadium and stuff like that around it. In Sochi. You have a bunch of little radio commands you can do with your uh, engineer. I'm bad at that corner. Uh, but I really like how, oh, get back here, how uh, this really is more interesting than just simply turning practice laps, which is frankly really boring uh, to do. But this gives you nice little, and as you'll see, varied objectives to perform during practice, so you're not just, you know, learning the track by re repetition, it's actually giving you little uh, objectives to do, which I think is a really neat feature. It's, it's in my opinion, basically the main... Uh, new thing that the game adds uh, from previous versions. Right. We got one more lap of this. Here's the little thing you can do. Turn on our DRS. So I want to hit 525. We'll see. Depends on whether I can hit that turn seven. A little loose coming off the corner. You know, obviously the graphical fidelity is very high, so it definitely looks good. Dang, I missed that corner. Uh, this game, like other Codemaster games, also features the flashback feature where you can rewind time if you mess up. Uh, I will try to avoid using that, although we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, fifth actually is probably about what I should be, considering, you know, I think hard is appropriate difficulty level for me. You know, considering who I'm driving for. We'll see what the times are by the end of practice. You know, after getting acclimated to the game, I was basically blowing everybody away at medium, so... It's not very interesting that way. Nor realistic, to be honest. You know, Ha should be mid-pack, maybe. Maybe getting points, you know. Ooh, too wide. All right, so that's it. So we will go to the garage. All right, so that's it for that session. So I ended up getting 30 out of 50, which isn't bad. It's not great. Uh, you know, you can see little displays that show where all the cars are on the track. 
different timings. And I'm in last, so maybe going up to hard was not the best idea. <laughs> but we'll see. And then live TV feed, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and then you can also end the session. I'm just going to uh, end it and go on to uh, the next practice session. An interesting practice session there, then. Let's... Get you your little resource points at the end of each practice session, so I'm up to 646. Which you can allocate here, but they won't install any points until uh, the next practice. So actually, I probably will do the engine. Engine upgrade. Alright, so this one I'm going to try to do tire management. Uh, now this one's interesting because they actually want you to kind of relax on the tires a little bit. Uh, but you have a minimum kind of speed you have to maintain. So you can't go super slow by braking really early, but you don't want to overtax the tires and kind of do, you know, like a qualifying type lap. So, as you'll see once the lap starts. And again, this is a really good way of learning the, uh, the track. So not only do you have to conserve the tires, you also have to meet some target uh, lap time. Okay, here we go. You want to try to keep it in the purple as best you can. So we're going to DRS right there. Let's see. For me, I'll be happy if I keep it in the green and then keep my lap times small enough. Uh, to, you know, record a successful lap. So I'm about half a second to the good right now, which is good enough. And my tires are doing really good, so if I just kind of maintain what I'm doing here, I should be alright. One corner and then you'll mess everything up, though. If you take it too slow or miss it. That was not a good corner. Still in the purple, though. Alright, I'm about three, four tenths under. I should be alright. Do that a couple more times and I'll be good to go. has dynamic weather so it'll start raining during practice if it starts out overcast and stuff like that so you have to you know adjust also has different time of day stuff this isn't a terrible track I don't mind this one too much Let's forget about the D. I gotta learn the DRS zones. Oop, that was terrible. You will, uh, if you go off the track, especially on like the non-city tracks, 
you'll uh, get grass on your tires, which really affects your handling. You'll start sliding all over the place. I think that's a really nice touch. I need to pick it up here. Yeah, uh. just barely missed that. All right, deer is coming up. Corner always gets me. I'm doing really good on time. I'm like a full second, or I was a full second ahead. Alright, one more lap around here on the uh, tire run. Tire runs are four laps. So I got half a lap to go, that should be alright. A little bit too much on the gas coming off that corner. Oh, good. 55 that's good. That's good. Alright, let's go back. Alright, so that was good. That was perfect. Eh, actually not too bad for, for being on S's. So, I'll take that. Like I said, you know, it really shouldn't be one of the better drivers anyway. Uh, let's end the session. We'll go to the next practice one. And then we'll do the qualifying uh, practice in the next session. Yay. All right, we'll go to practice three, and 
we will do the qualifying pace. So objective is 11th. You get three laps on uh, the very fast degrading tires. So let's see how this goes. Bad corner. You also notice you have these little team objectives that crop up. Those are like also like basically bonus uh, things you can get while you're practice too. So again, and they're different every race. You know the little tire programs and the qualifying setups are the same, uh, but those do vary. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, there. DRS! Uh, that was not good. Should still be alright, though. Way loose coming off of that. Not the best little lap, but it'll do. So if I got purple, then the thing just ends. I don't know if I'll be able to get that, though. We'll see. I don't mess up. Yeah, basically if I don't mess up at all, I can hit it. Actually, half a second ahead right now. Like I said, don't mess up. No, I got this thing. I'm a full second ahead. There you go. <laughs> Got the pole. You kidding me? Her projected pole. Well, so much for it going up to hard. All right. Well, I'm done with that. Let's go to qualifying. Estimated pole time one one forty three point six. I'm one forty two point nine. Haha. <laughs> now it'll be interesting is if we go into qualifying and it's raining. But we'll see. 
Yes, yes, I'm awesome. Guess who made the gossip columns this morning? Yep, rival. I was talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. Yes, ma'am. Ah, Nico. Ha, huh, cool. Yeah, second. Qualify eighth, qualify above Nico. Yeah, well, we'll see. See about that. All right, let's go to qualifying. One lap. Welcome back to Sochi. We're about to be joining. Sunny. Ah, oh, yes, I'll use my SSs, please. You can have different setups and stuff too. I don't usually mess around with that. To be honest. No, well, if I do good, it should be alright. I don't mess up. Hit my marks. Follow the brightly colored path. I have absolutely no shame in turning into like anti lock brakes in the racing line on because this is more fun for me. It's having it like this. You know, other people prefer a more realistic experience and that's fine and I'm glad that the game caters to that but personally I don't have time to practice for all that oh there's Hamilton you get a ghost car for the guy on the pole so you can kind of pick it in that bad corner back there kind of mess me up Ugh, that was bad. Broke way too late for that corner. Alright, what do I get? Fifth? Wow. Close near the top, I would say. I felt like I was just behind that guy. <laughs> kind of was. Didn't get ahead of Rosberg, though. Experience, rivalry. He should have won all that, basically. I was actually faster in sector one. So he's beating me six to three in the rivalry. And I'm basically exceeding expectations as a second driver, so. So you really want me to finish. Hi, guess who? I've seen the team's expectations for the race, so I thought I'd pass them on and wish you luck. Take care. Sixth. Yeah, higher than Rosberg. Yeah, I could look at that. Alright, sixth, huh? I can do that, I think. Alright, we'll go to the race. Good afternoon. Let's run through the grid order. Lewis Hamilton lines Let's up not. Let's instead look at my race strategy. Uh, so you can customize your race strategy, which is pretty interesting. You can also customize your uh, your setup, although back in qualifying cam. Uh, usually it gives you two choices, one with uh, one pit stop and one with two pit stops. I like the little graphs. And it shows you, you can actually go in and edit it if you want. Uh, you know, and then change it, but you don't have to. The ones that the uh, that the game comes up with is pretty good uh, to do, and you can see it has like graphs for what's going to happen to your your lap times and stuff. I think it's pretty cool, uh, and then how much fuel you're going to have in there. 
So I think that's an interesting thing too, and you can go in there and mess with that if you want. So uh, obviously I'm going to do one pit stop here because it will save me, you know, 20 seconds or so. So I will select that, and we will start the race. So I turned uh, formation lap off, but you still have manual start, so you hold the clutch and then kind of hold in the gas a little bit, not all the way, and then let it go when the lights change. And then we'll see if I can avoid a gigantic wreck here. While still uh, passing some of these cars. Uh, the answer is no. So, here's your flashback feature. <laughs> if I can get through the first corner, we'll be alright. So, uh, you, you know, you can stop it at any point here. I'll actually probably go right there. And then you hit the X and it'll flashback for you. And I'll just start to right there. Alright, let's see if we can get through this. Oh, come on. Eventually we'll get this start going. Now you can only go back to where you were before. So I'm going to play it kind of non-aggressive there. The AI is actually pretty good. Uh, they're aggressive, but they'll back off most of the time, uh, except usually at the beginning of the race, uh, when you're side-by-side -side with them. So they don't really intentionally wreck you, which is about all you can really ask for. Well, if I can stay here, I'll be all right. Don't get DRS for the first two laps. Like I said, six is kind of my goal, and then whatever happens after that happens after that. coming up that corner. <laughs> and it gets you pit super early in this race. Well, and you have to pit on a different lap as your teammate, and since I'm the number two driver, I end up pinning first, uh, where the other guy goes in the lap after me. So, he actually gets a better pit strategy than I do. Stupid lead teammate. We hit a straightaway all radio in about gaps. See how far these guys are in front of him and back of me. Problem is this track is so uh windy that it's hard to Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to be quick about it, I can't because I have to turn. I also like this uh, on top of the helmet view. It's kind of the default view. You can also get in the cockpit if you want, but I mean, this is fine for me. Usually I'm all about the cockpit view. Yay. Probably more than second behind this guy, though. Yeah.
Oh, that's not what I want. Gives you all the stats for your tires and stuff. You can ch make changes on the pit stop. Press the wrong button now. I wanted LB, not B. That's right. Good for him. The gap to teammate is five point three seconds. The time on the slap was a one minute forty four point nine. Right in behind, the gap is less than a second. Mm. Fresh super softs. We think they've got one more stop. And they're like right behind me. Relatively speaking, of course. Like I said, if I can hold fourth, I'd be fine with that. It's not a podium, but you're right. That's about honestly what it that would exceed real life expectations for Haas. So. It's closing in on me now. I think I'm pitting this lap, though. You can also have manual pit stops on. I turned them off because I don't want to deal with that junk. Uh, but you can control like your pit when to turn the pit limiter on, stuff like that. But uh, I don't need that in my life, <laughs> to be honest about it. Alright, let them control it. Now the only thing about automated pit stops I don't like is that it doesn't tell you obviously when it gives you control back again when you get on a pit road, which is a problem when you're or off a pit road, which is a problem when you're going into a braking corner at the exit of pit road. So I assume I have it now. No, maybe not. See? I like it like I said, I have no idea. Could it be now? Nope, not now. I think it's right when the blue thing ends. Twenty first. But not really. And I'm like way by myself too. So I'm not gonna actually pass a car. Maybe I'll catch up to these guys. So that was it for the pit stops. So I got eight laps, nine laps. Counting this one. I am catching this back traffic. You know, see, my teammate just went in the pits. That's why I had a pit last time. So hopefully, get some of these positions back. Not if I do that, though. Thirteenth.
Well, see, the car in front of me is still on super soft, so they got to be coming in soon. Alright, with that. A lot of uh, turning after coming off of corners, which is requiring not full throttle when you get off the corner. some more pits. I did it again. Yeah, now we're probably back to like realism here. If I can hold six, I'll be alright. See what happens. So I lost, like, what, a position in the pits? Kind of hoping that button gets held up by the car in front of him. Let's see. Let's see if I can catch him. Got seven laps. Six and a half. The damage is also pretty realistic. When you uh, hit the wall, it causes damage. Obviously, the wheel will come off. It will be attached by the tether, so it kind of flops around a little bit. It's pretty cool. Uh, I will hopefully not show off the damage model. In the next six and a half laps. Actually, hit that corner this time, sort of. <laughs> be exciting. Be a free position if they have to stop again. That was bad. I'm catching him though. Was catching him though, did that terrible corner. I'm like a s over a second behind and over a second ahead, so.
I'm definitely catching this guy. Coming for you, Jensen. Ooh, redo. Slow down too much. Alright, where do I want to do this at? Probably right there. So you get your room. Hey, how's it going? Probably could have waited for the DRS thing up here on the straightaway, but he broke too much for that last turn. Now he's just going to DRS me. Up to fourth. No way I'm catching third. Yeah, six seconds. I can do that. There are AI difficulty levels above hard. There's actually a number of them, so this isn't as hard as the game gets, which is good, because I'm not super awesome at it. Just, oh, he DRS my butt, didn't he? Jerk. And he pulled out right in front of me. Try that again. It's fine, I'll let him get by me. But, I'll get you back on this corner. Yeah, go ahead. Kimi. Oh, that's not even button, is it? Ugh. Oh, you're not paying attention. Gotta stay within a second, though. My DRS. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Ha 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 ha. Bye. Oh, you jerk. What a jerk. Give me a break, dude. Yeah, let's do it right there. <laughs> that was the same dang thing. It's going to mess me up, isn't it? That's only gonna let me do it. Ugh. Jerk. Because it only lets you do back where it was. That's right. I'll go to the inside. Alright. Kimi, come on now. Three more laps. Well, DRS certainly does make for more passing. I think you just pass him right back up the next <laughs> the next DRS spot. I'm sure he is, because he's my rival. He's gonna DRS me again, isn't he? Yeah, there he goes. And there he goes. Oh, 
Yeah, my tires are starting to get pretty worn. Alright, cut my corner too much. I got a train of cars behind me. They're going to DRS all of me. Here he comes. There he goes. Ooh, crossover. Ha ha ha. Explains part of that. Two to go. Pretty good racing back here. A lot of cars <laughs> that I'm holding up, essentially. Alright, here they come. Happened two more times basically. We shouldn't see any rain, but if a storm front does appear, you know. Yeah, well, if a storm front appears in the last lap, then we're all pretty much screwed. can get him with DRS at the next corner. Just gotta stay in back of him. And hope that the guy in back of me doesn't pull that on me. Well, considering this is the last lap, I think we'll be okay. I can feel my tires have like no grip now. I don't think I'll be able to catch him back. I think I'll be too far ahead. Which is not good, because that means the car behind me can get DRS, too. You giving it to me? Nope. That's right, car behind me couldn't get it, either. Of course he did. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, don't now even see that. So fifth, I'll take that. And then there's the points. Yeah, dropped them points. I had some uh, difficulty level, you know, enhancement there with where I was in the championship. And I get my points. There you go. Get your rivalry. Well, let me think, since he won. I don't think it's very fair to make me go get his points leader, but that's alright. And I'm awesome. And I get career score. And there you go. That is F1 2016. Uh, it's a good game. I don't think it's, uh, for me at least, it's not $60 uh, worth of good if you played another F1 somewhat recently. Uh, I really do like 
how it gives you objectives during practice that give you the research and development points. That's a really cool system. I think it really kind of breaks up the monotony of practice sessions where instead of simply turning laps, you're actually doing objectives, you know, trying to conserve your tires or do a qualifying run or learn the track. It gives you more stuff to do. Uh, it also enhances the career mode. has up to 10 seasons now instead of 5. gives you different driver, rivalry, driver rivalries to have. Uh, and then also where your position is within the team. Keeps a little career score as well. also has uh, single seasons, quick races, online multiplayer with uh, human-filled 22-car fields. Uh, you know, other than the uh, objectives during the career mode, the other new features are, you know, the usual type stuff, formation lap, safety car, manual pitting, manual race starts, and the new circuit and team that are in the uh, series for this year. Physics are plausible enough. The driving assist support a different uh, range of abilities, so you can really turn them all on and have a more arcade experience or turn them all off and have the game play more like a uh, sim. You have the ability to do flashbacks in case you mess up or the AI runs into you every once in a while. AI is appropriately aggressive. It'll give room when it's racing side by side, but it'll definitely use DRS for its advantage as you saw there during the race and try to pass you going into the next corner. And the car damage can also be pretty realistic as well. Uh, so if you like F1 games, uh, you know, the $60 price tag is pretty steep, but I think if you really like F1, then this is a uh, racing simulator that is good. It is a good game. Uh, and it's definitely something you should check out if you like F1 racing titles. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.